Today let us look at RELP which means read evaluate print loop. Every other programming language provides this RELP feature in it. Let's get into Chrome developer tool. You can get here by pressing F12 in Windows or Ctrl Shift I. You could write any kind of JavaScript here and start executing right away. Now I could even increment it by one by pressing A plus plus. It will plus plus A is pre-increment that would increment it first and then output the result. Now concatenating the string. We could even write a function here. I'll write a simple function and just return a value 100 here. Once I call this method, it will return 100. So since Node.js is also built on the same Google's V8 JavaScript engine, we could do the same using Node.js too. If we type Node, we will get this prompt and we could start testing our snippets of JavaScript code and we can evaluate our program here. We could even concatenate or we could even increment. This is pre-increment, now post-increment. First it will print the value and then increment. So the A value is 12 right now. We could concatenate the string as we saw in under web development tool of Chrome. Also we could obviously write function, define a function and call a function there. So not only these things, we could even see what's present inside the HTTP module present inside Node.js package. So simply type HTTP now, it's an object and it will list out all the contents of HTTP models object. So we have status codes here, a bunch of it and some functions. We have already seen some of them. Some of them are new, like sockets. We'll be seeing it in the future videos. We have already seen create server. It's a function and it's listed there. We have also seen get method. Now we could, we could fetch the status codes by writing its key name here, which is status codes. It just fetched all the status codes. Now let us see OS module, which is also built in right into Node.js. So there is a type method here. Let's see. Let's just type dot type. It will tell it. It's a function now call the method and it will tell our operating system that is Windows NT. Our operating system is based on Windows NT. So this is how we test our snippets of code. This is RELP is especially useful in testing and debugging of our code snippets that will be on the fly so that it will be helpful before implementing it in the actual application. Please share this video with your friends on Google+, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, StumbleUpon, etc. Stay subscribed to technotip.com, technotip.org and to our YouTube channel. And please don't forget to like this video on YouTube.